how can we stop moving it if it can move it? It takes 100 times for it to move. It takes 100 years to move it. Oh, I don't know. Lev, you have ideas on that for her? Nope. Naya? Naya? What are some things you guys were discussing? The rain. rain. The rain it floods. When it floods a lot, cause, well, if it floods a lot, it, the rain can move the wood chips. That means the rain must have went down it in the spot on the, the swing, and it must have went a lot because if the water went on the swing, you would think the swing could protect it. If the water was, if that was a really powerful storm, it could flip it over and then the swing could help it pour in the water, so that would make the wood chips. Uh, what I think is the reason that it was moved only under the swing is because that's where there are ditches for people's feet, so the water collected there and moved the wood chips. I'm going to give you one more minute. One more minute. What are you guys talking about? So we, so we were thinking when the asteroid hit the when it hit the planet, the it broke the because all the states used to be connected together in one big chunk. So when the asteroid hit, the water might be moving, the, moving the, like moving a big space into pieces. Interesting. I think it's global warming because it's we know the. Global warming is melting icebergs, but it's like maybe causing the flood. So maybe being against the crop countries, like causing an earthquake, which is shaking everything. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. If you Liam, can you tell me an idea your group had about how it moved? Oh, I hope it was a whole, all all group's idea. Okay, hey, Abigail, tell me something. Okay, so what made the ground what made the ground change? So a car, you think a car went here and moved it? It's going to be just basic car. There you go. Okay. The car moved it. Isaac, from your group, what's an idea you had? What did the wind do? So I saw you say the wind came over here and pushed the dirt? Yeah. Okay. Basically. So I heard Basically. wind. Okay. Gabby, something from your group. Oh, Gabby's talking right now. So, so I heard you say there was no rain. So what moved it when there was no rain? What actually moved it? The wind. So the wind moved it, but you also thought there was a lack of rain. What would having no rain do to the dirt? It would make it really Okay. Okay, and then I also heard you say that there was an animal maybe digging. I'm just going to draw a little animal there. Aww. Don't know what kind of animal. Cat. Yeah. Looks like a spider. Looks like a spider cat. Okay. Dog. No, no um, Mavs group, what's something you had? A demon. A demon. <laughs> oh, I need to hear Mav.
Liam, I want to hear map. So the water, so the water, like under the dirt, the trees are sucking all that up, and that's what's keeping like the muddy dirt together. But um, since like the trees is sucking all that water up, the dirt is like collapsing, and the trees and stuff are falling on the road. All right, so there is, okay, I heard a tree. There is a tree here, but you think the roots are sucking up, the water are so sucking up all the water. Okay, sucking up water, making, so the dirt is dry again, and then what happens? So if the dirt is dry, Mav, the tree sucked up all water, the dirt's dry, how does that make the dirt move? Because it's like, you know how mud is, is like more of like a slimy form where it like stays together better? Yep. But like, when like so when you pick up wet sand and like, like put it upside down, it stays on like longer. So if like I throw wet sand at, at a tree, like it stays on the tree. But if I put, throw, like, but it's like, but if the tree sucks up So what made that dirt move though? You said if I throw it, what made the dirt move after it got all dry? Well, the trees on the 